Is this the best AI-free motion capture tool available for Blender? Let's check it out. This video is partnered with Rococo. I was already using Rococo and I was excited when they reached out to me to let me know that they had a free product available. I decided to put it through the test and see if I could retarget my animation and perform as a cat. And I think this looks super realistic. But all joking aside, it's actually an incredible tool for capturing motion, so let's look at how we can use it in Blender. To get started, you're going to need to create a Rococo account, which is free with an email. And you'll wanna to go to this link here, which will take you to Rococo video. And to process the data and export it to Blender, you're also going to need Rococo Studio Beta, which is also free. And I'll put a link to download that below. Now, if you want, you can kind of skip the studio process and just quickly export from it. But I actually recommend taking a look at the filters because that's actually what I think makes this the best AI capture experience is the fact that you have immediate access to Rococo's filtering tools. Now, capturing your motion capture is a simple process. You can either do it live with your webcam or you can do it with pre-recorded video and upload that if you'd like to capture motion from an, an existing video. Some quick tips to ensure that you get good motion capture data. You want to make sure that your camera is still on a tripod or a rested surface. You want to avoid wearing clothing that is too dark because it needs to be able to see the detail of your clothing in order to measure the data. And then you also want to make sure that your full body is in the shot. Lastly, doing things like occlusion, so keeping your hands behind your back for long periods of time can result in glitchy motion capture data. However, if you're willing to take the time to clean up the data, you can account for that occlusion by messing with the keyframes yourself. Now, following these guidelines and producing your video and uploading it is simple enough, and then it will take time to process it. It's about a three to one ratio, so 30 seconds will take about 90 seconds to process. After that, when you open Rococo Studio, you'll see that your data is automatically downloaded there and stored in whatever project that you named it as. Now, Rococo Studio has lots of easy to use filters you can use to kind of clean up your mocap data before exporting. I recommend you check them out. However, we're gonna be focusing on Blender. So the only thing I'm going to mention is that when you double click your action here, you'll see that you have these bars down here. And these represent your left and right foot. And wherever the colored bars are represents that your foot is planted on the ground. So here you can see that your left foot is planted on the ground and your right foot. And you can adjust these so that if you're doing things like jumping and whatnot or doing a kick, that you can kind of measure when your foot's on the ground and get accurate motion capture data and prevent foot sliding. Now over here on the right panel, you can click export and you can change which type of rig you want it to export to for the naming convention. So a common one's Mixamo. So for this one, I'll use a Mixamo naming convention and click export, which will allow me to export an FBX, which I can save anywhere on my computer and then we'll go over to Blender. So just like any other FBX, we can import this into Blender and now we have our motion caption data in Blender. Now you may be wondering how to attach this to your characters. Of course you could start with the T pose here and rig your character to this particular armature if you prefer, but if you wanna use something like Mixamo or Rigify, Rococo actually has a free retargeting tool and I think it might be the best retargeting add-on I've used in Blender. So let's take a look at how to use that. Now, once you've downloaded and installed the add-on, it will appear here on the right side of your panel here. And you'll see that there's actually a lot of options. You just need to log into Rococo and then we can quickly use the retargeting tools. You'll also notice they have this live feature, which is really cool because you can actually stream your data from Rococo Studio to Blender Live so that you can motion capture yourself live. It's pretty cool. I'll show you a bit of that at the end of the video, but for now let's focus on the retargeting, which is super simple. Now this retargeting tool makes it easy to work with any naming convention. I just use Mixamo so that that would be kind of a quick, easy example as it already had the names preset. But basically you just click here and you target your motion capture armature. And then you click here and you target the armature that you want that data to be applied to. After that, you click build bone list. And what it's going to do is compare its own bone list with the bone list you're trying to retarget to. Now, in our case, since I used Mixamo and have imported a Mixamo thing, it should do everything automatically. In this case, because our armature has less bones than the existing one or the options here, you'll see that some fields are blank and that's totally fine. And you can always fill out these blanks with the bones that you feel are appropriate if you're getting glitchy retargeting animations. After that, we can check this auto scale box down here. And what that's going to do is try and scale the armatures so that they match in size and get a more accurate retarget. Occasionally, this can mess up the positioning of your character. So if you notice your character kind of flying around the scene, you can uncheck this and that should solve the problem. After that, click retargeting animation where it'll think for a second and then apply the animation. And you can see there that within 10 minutes, we've gone from a video to cleaning up our motion capture to retargeting and having it ready to use in Blender, which is just a crazy fast and efficient workflow. What do you think about this workflow for motion capture? Let me know in the comments below.
Rococo provided me a full set of their suit with facial motion capture, hand capture, and body capture. Now Rococo uses a magnetic based system to detect its motion and it works over Wi-Fi, which is awesome because what this means is that anywhere with a laptop, computer, or Wi-Fi connection, you can record high quality motion capture data without the need of a multi-million dollar studio. If you're familiar with Ian Huberts and his Blender channel, he uses it in his videos to help motion capture and apply that data to some of his humanoid characters. I've actually been using this on some of my VR work for prototyping and recording my hands to be in the foreground. Rococo offers incredibly high quality studio level motion capture data at a much more affordable price than the competition. Now, if you're not interested in buying an entire motion capture setup, you can actually check out their library, which has affordable options to download a ton of animations that you can use in your games, animations, visual effects, and more. Of course, I'll link to everything below so you can check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below.